I've got something for you. Oh. Tonight, oh. get on your feet. Twenty performers are taking it to the stage. Oh. From reality show casts. To your local weatherman, 22 inches of snow! To a street performer. Uh, what happened to that famous British reserve? Convincing performances that deserve an ovation. I'm grown and I was screaming that thing too. Featuring commentary from our cast of legendary entertainers. I've done a lot of bad things in my day. But I've never chopped a kid's head off. It's True TV presents World's Dumbest Performers. And it starts now. Ow! In Switzerland, a crowd of 18,000 packs an arena as the Swiss Winter Olympic team is introduced. The first Olympian is two-time ski jump gold medalist, Simone Amman. Der Doppel Olympia Sieger, Simon Amman. <laughs> that was definitely a head bang. <laughs> Agony of running face first into a video camera. <laughs> when is a shirt over the head ever a good idea? Okay, oh now? Okay. What a moron. Not the runner, the cameraman. I mean, seriously, are they the stupidest people on the set all the time? I mean, what? Come on. <laughs> Evidently, running into the camera makes you want to jump on the host and hug him. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Just hold me like a baby. He had a great attitude about it afterwards. I would have been crying in a corner, humiliated. Ja, das Pizza schon, aber ein Tagebogen haut das nicht so schnell um. Ja, und Frauen gehen Geld aus zum größeren Lippen. <lacht> ja, wie eine Frau. <lacht> Way to get a jab in at those silly women at the end, random misogynistic Swiss reporter guy. <lacht> He should just stay on skis constantly. <lacht> A young man in Minnesota is about to attempt to deadlift a new personal best. Get up, get up, get up, get up. 329 pounds. Nice. <laughs> this guy just dropped, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when you go to use a piece of equipment in the gym and somebody's forgotten to wipe their face off it? <laughs> That's how I felt after I had to deadlift Judy Gold, but at least uh, his dead weight wasn't yelling in his ear. You're doing? You're not a touch a woman. I, I don't look at it as failure. I just look at it as, you know, I was I was stoked beyond belief. You're not stoking responsibly. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that happens. I'm not losing another patient to stokeness. Not today. He walks away with just a few stitches. I understand how the stitches got there. Um, how did the crappy mustache get there? You're lucky that's all you did because you couldn't yourself. Ew. Nice. Ah! <laughs> oh. 
a radio station in Athens, Greece. A DJ delivers the news, but the cigarette he just tossed in the garbage threatens to steal the show. They say grease fires are the most dangerous. <laughs> and probably ignited some baklava that was in there and it caught fire. Nothing puts out a raging fire like a rubber sole on your shoe. Get back, flames! Get back! Oh no, not the Baja Men CD, no! How are we gonna find out who let the dogs out? As the flames spread, the engineer finally springs into action. If you're gonna save my life, do it quietly. Η κυβέρνηση αναδιπλώθηκε στο θέμα των τεκμηρίων διαβίωση και η ένσταση αντισυνταγματικότητα τη αντιπολίτευση εισέφραξε ηχηρό όχι από την κυβερνητική πλειοψηφία. Oh my god, is what you're reading so damn important? We're also going to have the annual dress up like a donut day. That's right, if you like donuts, you're not going to want to miss this parade. Τα επόμενα νέα από το σύγχρονο 99,5 σε μία ώρα. The fire is put out, but not before causing thousands of dollars in damages. I mean, hello, you're fired. Coming up. Ow! This is God's way of saying, hey, update to a flat screen. Plus, and the award for best set design goes to... Not this guy. And later, guess who's coming to this kitty party? And it's nice to see black children and white children uh, screaming in terror together. That was Dr. King's dream. When World's Dumbest Performers continues. Sixteen-year-old Demi Doss has been grounded by her mom. Demi, something's gonna happen. If you're grounded, you might as well be grounded to the TV. That TV could have crushed her. That's why my kids don't have beds in their rooms. to cover them. Honey, I hope you didn't break the TV again. What? Oh, it's working. Oh, it's the smoking gun. I love that show. You Judy Gold's my favorite. She's so funny and smart. Love her. Yeah. Both Demi and her television are fine. I'm pretty sure you've all realized by now that I'll pretty much do anything to be on TV. But I stop when it comes to the TV being on me. A teenage soccer match in Brazil. The ref shows a yellow card to a midfielder for injuring an opposing player. Yellow card to this player here. Wait a minute, on me? Are you crazy? Wait, hey, hold on. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Stand the ground. As an actor, let me say. Yeah. Bravo! Wait a minute. Don't touch me. Keep acting, keep acting. You're a liar. And it was a delay, too. Don't touch me. It was like, oh, do I fall, do I fall? Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Ow! There's more where that came from. Stay on the ground. Why are you here, the ground? What are you doing? Hey, what are you all doing? What are you doing? What's going on here? Just hey, hey, Raul, Raul. Calm down, everyone. Listen, calm down. Hey, what's up, dude? Why you slap my boy, huh? Well, I only smacked him a little bit. Oh, 
coach for 40 years and never see that kind of teamwork. Why is the referee the fastest man on the field? Get me off That's okay, hit the showers. Idiot. Once safely off the pitch, the referee cancels the rest of the match. Gentlemen, please, this is a soccer game. Can we please leave the violent rioting to the fans? Thank you. I got him. Get me. I Son of a bitch. A little boy's fifth birthday party in Texas. The highlight of the celebration is a surprise guest. Oh, oh what's up, baby? What's up, girl? Hey, happy birthday. I got you a big bowl of nightmares. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's okay. How you doing, little guy? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm grown, and I was screaming at that thing, too. What's up, sweetheart? Oh, come on, let me get some. He's like this, coming at the kids. So this will calm him down. You got a big soccer ball. What's up, there, little man? <laughs> Happy birthday, little guy. <laughs> You'll be okay, little guy. And it's nice to see black children and white children uh, screaming in terror together. That was Dr. King's dream. Hey, want some candy? What the parents see is a big, happy, unemployed actor in a puffy suit giving away candy. What the children see is a man in a rusty van with a box full of puppies asking you to come in. Oh, there we go. Look at that beauty. Yes, you can. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Go on, it's okay. It's time for cat massage. When we last saw Mary Jean Ballner, she was explaining how to stroke and massage your pussy. Simply start from the base of the rump, rubbing your way out, and follow it to its natural conclusion. Now she's back with something else. Your dog wants a massage. She's back, adding value to the world. Doggy massage. In this video, we'll show you that petting is passe. You want to stay on the cutting edge uh, when you're dealing with your animal. Uh, they can tell if you're behind the times. Let me introduce Henry, Henry Wrinkler, and Darby. That was Henry Wrinkler. <laughs> there are four massage speeds. Let's start with no mo. No motion. A speed where you do not move is not a speed. Next is slow mo, which means slow motion. We know it's slow motion. We use it for other things outside of the animal massage world. Adjust the words of favorite songs to rhyme with your dog's features, like Swing Low Sweet Chariot. And adjust it like this. Greta, you're a good, good dog with your gray fur and little feet. Is she singing Negro spirituals to the dog? Brown eyes and a furry face And you know I think you're quite neat So you just want to rhyme feet and neat Because pets are real sticklers for poetic integrity Pet your dog, you make a friend for a day But massage your dog, you've made a friend for life Goodbye for now 
We're at Taronga Zoo, where the coming up are actually being trained. A performing pelican with the hearts for a reporter. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> to be fair, his ass smells like sardines. Plus, the forecast from hell. Crippling. Record breaking storm comes today! I got one word for you, Jimmy. Decaf. And two smoking guns get their groove on. We're burning it down! When World's Dumbest Performers continues. It's opening night of Greenport High School's production of Peter Pan. Will you teach me how to talk? Do you know any stories? I love stories. There's nothing like high school theater. As Peter makes his entrance into Wendy's bedroom. Oh, please. Help, help me. Give me down. Help me. Okay, go, go, go. And the award for best set design goes to. Not this guy. I don't know if they saw me. Quick, tell me to get off. Peter, do we have homeowner's insurance? Are, are we clapping because they're hurt? Set destruction. Just bravo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back in five minutes. God, will someone shut that baby up already? You know what? Get the baby out of the theater. So is everyone set? Oh. I see you, weird, awkward tech girl who doesn't know whether to stay or go, and I love you. Wait! Are you okay? Are you okay? Who the hell is running these wires behind the scenes? Lathe Garrett? Wait! <laughs> exactly. Oh, Peter, I'm fine, huh? It's just as well that kids learn that you can't really fly. No one in the cast is seriously injured, and the rest of the show flies by without incident. I would say this is better than most high school plays that I've seen, but a lot worse than my performance, and you can't take it with you as the black maid. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chuck Nice. There's a major snow advisory in Baltimore. With more on the story, here's local weatherman Jim Kosick. A paralyzing, crippling, record-breaking storm comes today! What's going on with this, guys? Is it steroids or religion? I got one word for you, Jimmy. Decaf. Okay. Road closures, flight cancellations in the hundreds, power outages by the tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands? Yes. This guy is more negative than my mother. And problem number one to start it all today, 35 degrees. So when the snow comes in, kicks temperatures down, sub-freezing, so what initially melted turns to black ice. Am I supposed to wear a coat or not? Problem number two, 14 to 22 inches of snow! It's gonna be snow! Blowing and drifting! Oh, three, four, five feet drifts! I think Jim might actually believe he's controlling the weather. So you shovel! Drifts back over, shovel, drifts, shovel! Oh! I kind of wish I lived in Baltimore. I would watch the news. Oh, boy. That was Jim Kosick advising you to freak out. We're getting word of another weather development in Australia. Let's go to Steve Jacobs, who's live on location. We are at Taronga Zoo, where the pelicans are actually being trained. They've been training them for a couple of years now to be a part of the seal show. Hmm. Yeah, can we get to the forecast? That's what people are waiting for. Yeah, but I might just get straight into the weather. Cairns mostly fine in 34. On associated cold front, brushes the south. Oh, but, ah! <laughs> the pelican didn't like the forecast, but he liked the forecaster. What the hell? He loved it. <laughs> you mess with the pelican, you're gonna get the beak. To be fair, his ass smells like sardines. <laughs> what the hell? He loved it. <laughs>
Stop it! Stop it! A little to the left. Stop! Stop! I don't know why he keeps doing it. Do it. No, stop! We love it. Dude, it's a pelican. It ain't a black mamba. Relax. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mentally stunned. I think all parties involved let that go on a little longer than necessary. Uh, Ooh, an animal's attack. There's a beauty never expected. <laughs> my butt taken off my pelican. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. I'm Chuck Nice for SGP News. Florida's Club Plush, a woman volunteers to be part of an exotic dance performance. Yeah. Mm. Come on, baby. Mm. Who is paying who here? Give me that. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Oh, it is on. Her foot just got tickled by a man boob. Yeah, get this up here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Come on, baby. Mm. Don't bend my leg up like that. I'm not oh, that flexible. Yeah. That was a party, right? That hurts in my hamstring. Feeling nice. I like it. Get this up here. Let me take out some of this sugar. Mm. What? what? I got it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You know, nothing spoils a public dry hump more than losing your wig. Check out some of this sugar. Uh oh. Yeah. I got it. Mm. Yeah. You go to the strip club, go with a weave, not a wig. And of course, all those bitches took pictures in her moment of defeat. Let me get some of this real stuff. Mm, yeah. What kills me is that she's embarrassed that her wig came off. Good job, baby. Good job. Yeah. You can tell he's on her team because he did pat her ass like a teammate in a sporting event. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you for my wig. All right, who next? Todd? Uh, Lonnie? Can you help me out here? Is this a, sort of a regular thing at Club Plush? Oh, yeah, take my wig off, baby! Take Oh, yeah! We're burning it down! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, baby, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Oh, thank you, baby, thank you, baby, yeah! Thank you! Oh, hey, baby, yeah! Coming up! Come on, Paul, do your job! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, I hope that went between his balls. Then, an Italian reality show gets hairy. I'm confused. Which one is Snooky? And... Keep on dancing, girls. I like tits and tractors. When World's Dumbest Performers continues. The following program contains coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. In Louisiana, tightrope walker Jay Cochran is about to perform. Here we go. Just one foot in front of the other. Come on. Come on. Keep it together. He plans to walk 2,700 feet across the Mississippi River on a wire 200 feet in the air. Whoa. Whoa, it's windy, eh? When you're a manorexic tightrope walker, the winds can really do a lot of damage. Ah! Uh -huh. Don't lose it. Oh! Come on. Come on, Paul. Do your job. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, I hope that went between his balls. At least we know now, there won't be any more little tightrope walkers coming from him. Gosh almighty, I hate this. Cochran clings to the wire halfway across the Mississippi. What the f is taking so long? Can't be that hard to get me down. Let's go, let's go, let's go! The rescue crew lowers the cable and retrieves Cochran. Are you disappointed? I said f off. Why? Print that. This is why tightrope walking never took off. No goodwill ambassadors. What's the problem? Because I'm not in the mood right. 
They just want to ask you questions about why you suck. Please get out of my way. I'll interview with you later. Hey, why are you in a bad mood? Would you be in a bad mood? The more huffy he gets, the cuter that outfit gets. Stupid reporter asking dumbass questions. Stupid things. They don't get it. I just want to be left alone. You got to push him when he's down. That's so cool. What about this outfit makes you think I won't kick your ass? No. Damn it! They're not artists. They don't get it. They don't get who I am. 20 years later, everything was made right when Jay inspired the movie Napoleon Dynamite. How'd you like a liger shoved up your ass, dickwad? F off. I said f off. Why? Drink that. Welcome back to Italy's favorite reality show, House of Love. Tamara and Emiliana are still fighting over Ciccio. What will happen? Let's see. Tamara! I'm confused. Which one is Snooky? Does the whole reality show take place in the bathroom? Because that could be quite interesting. I can't pick which woman I hate more in this clip. I'm gonna go with the guy who comes in with the stick. Wait a minute, that's who they're fighting over? Really? Is that the last Italian man left alive? Look at him. God almighty. Boy, those girls look like they'd be a lot of fun to date. No drama there. No drama at all. You know, this is not um, a recommended use for a tractor. Ladies, cool it down. My God, hubba, hubba. This is the worst farm stripper club I've ever seen. Girls, what time is it? Do you put vodka in your cereal? Please don't take your clothes off. Please don't. Shut up, you Puritan. Keep on dancing, girls. I like tits and tractors. Yeah, this is really sexy. Yeah, you look really hot. Show us your belly. Yeah, go, 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 go. Under the center. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Ding, ding, ding. And she's out. Oh, no, no. You right? You okay? Now how is she gonna accidentally have a lesbian experience? You've ruined everything, Tractor! The reckless dancer is rushed to the hospital with a concussion. But sturdy as a tractor, she makes a full recovery. Let that be a lesson to you young girls out there. Stripping is supposed to be done around a pole. Not on a tractor. Bush Gardens theme park in Virginia. A magic show is underway at a theater called The Enchanted Laboratory. All right, now I'm not pitching anything, am I? Great, then we're going to secure you into there's no means of escaping. That should actually be a service that parents pay extra for. All right, now, sweetie, we're going to stick this right in here. 
And uh, don't worry, like I said, I know exactly what I'm doing. You have no need to fear. I'm a highly trained, disillusioned actor who's been forced to work at a theme park. One, two, three! It works! I mean, of course it works. Oh, too late. Let's get you out of here. Let's continue the story. A big round of applause. All right. At least he didn't cut the kid's head off. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we fear our kid to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll have everyone please uh, exit via the doors in the rear of the theater. We will need the audience to leave and to not tell anyone that a child was ever here. <laughs> cool? Due to technical difficulties, this show will not be able to continue. I like that they had the recording ready to go. Due to the ineptitude of an amateur magician with a curious accent and an old-timey costume, this show will not be able to continue. Sorry for the inconvenience. TJ is eventually freed unharmed. But after the mishap, the enchanted laboratory disappears for good. This magician was an idiot. This is a reasonably simple illusion. Are we ready? Yeah. I'm so not ready. I read the instructions once on this, man. Okay, you ready? Okay, tell me when you're ready. <laughs> Coming up, cheerleader hijinks. My foot, my foot, oh my god, my foot's stuck. <laughs> S-T-U-C-K, what's that spell? Sucker A! And later, <laughs> a South American pageant winner. I really think I deserve to win, and uh, also... Flips its wig. That's the first time I've ever seen a Brazilian hair removal in person. When World's Dumbest Performers continues. At a high school in Michigan, three cheerleaders warm up before the big game. Yes! Yes! It's so nice to see a bunch of cheerleaders just having fun. I'm doing something frivolous for once. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh my god! I some pervert must have set a cheerleader trap. Come here, my foot. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I'm stuck right now. S-T-U-C-K, what's that spell? Stuck or A? Oh, oh, try to get down. No, no, no. no. Oh, oh. <laughs> joking. I can't breathe. They're talking me. Oh, Jackson, Jackson. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She is stuck. We've got to get her out. It figures, Becky has such big, weird feet. <laughs> it's her foot that's stuck. Like, why don't you target her foot right now? <laughs> Unable to free their teammate, the rest of the spirit squad goes for help. Um, somebody! My foot is stuck! She is eventually freed and lives to cheer another day. Help! And now, a message from our sponsor. Do you have insurance on this car? Do you have insurance on that hair? Do you have insurance on this car? No. If you can sound more like you don't understand what you're saying... Do you have insurance on this car? Perfect. What's that? It must be Eagle Man. I've got something. For you. Clearly, the entire budget went to the Eagle costumes and acting lessons. Gee, Eagle Man, I can't wait to buy something that fell out of your ass. I think that dude Eagle just gave birth on your car. 
I don't care what insurance you have. That's not covered. Oh, look at those low rates. I love how when the eagle baby pops out of the egg, the thing that the women are most amazed by is the great low insurance rates. I can't figure out whether this is intentionally bad or intentionally awesome. Oh, look at those low rates. I, I don't understand where the idea of wacky car insurance came from. That's why I'm going with the insurance company uh, with the talking lizard. I've got something for you. It's Adopt a Dog Week on an Israeli morning program. So a puppy is on set while the hosts interview a fashion expert about scarves. Well, apparently the reviews are in for that show. <laughs> <laughs> it's the biggest dump I've ever seen a dog that size take. It was enormous. Like he was saving up. <laughs> <laughs> That was an ugly scarf anyway. I would have pooped on it, too. Can we just uh, hear the fashion guy squeal again? Oi, oi. <laughs> yeah, uh, there it is. <laughs> the dog isn't the thing that needs removing. Spoiler alert, it's the poop. <laughs> it happens, right. That's why you should have planned this segment better. <laughs> now I won't know what kind of fashion scarves Israeli men are wearing this year. Sadly, after the show, they built a wall around that dog and stole its land. As Justin Timberlake gives a performance inside this London club, What's up, England? A woman outside starts a performance of her own. So I need a little bit more trouble. Excuse me, hello. Hey. Dear God, the Queen lives like a mile from there. Have some dignity. Uh, what happened to that famous British reserve? Show us what you're doing. No. You're not on the way. What are you doing? Get off my cab. Well, that's one way to hail a cab. What is going on here? Move, move, move. Get your buttocks off my cab. Excuse me. What you call that? Get off my cab. You're getting vagina all over my cab. I'll be back then. Shocker. But just tell her there's a strip search at the station. She'll drive herself there. Have a nice time in the slammer, lad. You pass your bail, darling. Don't worry. Thanks for the free show, love. Enjoy yourself We'll see you in a few hours, love. We'll meet you outside the jail. It's nice to see a woman restore respect and dignity to our race. Are we a race? <laughs> I don't understand uh, genitals. Show us what you got, love. Show us more. Get dirty, get dirty. There we are. Oh, you're dirty, ain't you? <laughs> You've witnessed 19 terrible acts. <laughs> but the dumbest performer of all is still waiting in the wings. <laughs> Find out who it is right after this.
It's the final round of the 2009 Miss Gay Brazil pageant. Drag queens from around the country anxiously await the awarding of the prize tiara. And the winner is Ava Simoes. I would thump her, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's smoking looking, man. Right? This was a guy. Oh, that was a guy? Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. I was set up on that one, man. That's bull Thank you so much. After the crowning, Ava gives an interview to a local reporter. Well, you know, I'm so happy to be Miss Gay Brazil. I, I really think I deserve to win, and uh, I also... Give me that. That's the first time I've ever seen a Brazilian hair removal in person. Uh, also... That loser is serious about her vengeance. I guess it could have been worse. She could have kicked her in the balls. Ah! Uh, also, give it that. I'd like to thank all my duct tape people who do the duct tape on my shaved pieces parts. You are going down, Crystal. Ha! She got my weed, stop her! It was a gang fight, yet it was kind of gay. It was like West Side Story. You hear cat sounds, it's like... It's hard to have a cat fight without... Yeah. Once the fight is broken up, Miss Gay Brazil returns to her media obligations. Feliz com peruca ou sem peruca, eu sou a Miss Brasil. Yeah, but better with a wig. The wig snatcher is banned from future pageants. So, if you lose, be the bigger man slash woman and walk away. Also, give me that. What do you think? You want a little dog massage? Mary Jean, what are you doing here? It's time for dog massage. <laughs> Great actors. Great actors in this. Put up. Are you sure that he's enjoying that? Oh, sure he is, right? Oh, my God. Talk about no feeling. That does look pretty good. Oh, yes. Good boy. Johnny, good uh, boy. Uh, it's dog massage with Mary Jean and John's enormous head. Ooh. Floppy ears and stubby neck. I'll do your face instead. <coughs> your chubby cheeks and potty mouth. Where are all your tattoos? <coughs> You're drooling now. We're having fun. Massage you cannot lose. 